Hello everybody, this is going to be a short tutorial on exact sequences. I'm going to cover just the basics, which is I'm going to explain the definition of an exact sequence and of short exact sequences. And we are going to see some easy properties. So assume you have a sequence of objects, A, B, C, D, and so on. This can be an infinite sequence. I've just named a few objects here, A, B, C, D. And you have morphisms from A to B and from B to C and from C to D and so on. And suppose you are in a category such that you can make sense of um, the image of a morphism and the kernel of a morphism. Um, then you can define what it means to uh, for a sequence to be exact at an object. So suppose you want um, a sequence to be exact at the object B. This is defined to be the following condition. The uh, image of this morphism F is the kernel of the morphism G. And um, the sequence as a whole is uh, said to be exact if it is exact at each object. So at, at uh, A, B, C, D, and so on. Um, now some uh, easy properties. Suppose you have a sequence 0, A, B. And uh, if this is if this is exact, you can conclude that f has to be injective because um, the image of 0 has to be the kernel of this uh, morphism f. And um, so the kernel of f is 0, so f is injective. The next thing is if um, you have a sequence bc0 and this is exact, then you can conclude that g has to be subjective because the image of g is the kernel of this nameless uh, homomorphism from c to 0. So all of 0 is um, mapped, uh, all of c is mapped to 0. So all of C has to be in the image of G. So G is indeed subjective. And if you combine these two statements, you get that if you have look at a sequence 0, A, B, 0, this has to be a bijection because it has to be injective by our first statement. And it has to be a subjective by a second statement. So combined, it is a bijection. As an example, look at the following sequence, A, B, C, D. You have the following, F is subjective if and only if um, H is injective, because if F is uh, subjective, um, all of B is in the image of F, and so um, G of B needs to be zero and um, the kernel of f needs to be equal to the image of g so the kernel of h needs to be zero so h is injective and the other way around and um, now to conclude this mini tutorial i'm going to introduce the um, the concept of short exact sequences. Um, this is a short exact sequence, 0, A, B, C, 0. And um, you can see that this morphism from A to B has to be injective. And um, this morphism from B to C is uh, certainly subjective. 
So uh, what you get is an injection uh, of A into B. And um, the image of A has to be the kernel of uh, this map P. Um, so you get an isomorphism of the quotient group B factored by the image of A with C. And um, yeah, that's, that's all for this uh, short tutorial. Um, of course, there's a lot more to say about exact sequences. I hope you uh, stay with me for the following uh, videos. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.